But family and friends, I want to remind you and I want you to know that as beautiful as this celebration is and as real as Jonathan and Ellen's love for each other is, it's only meant to be a picture of a greater love. Dear Jonathan, I cannot believe it's finally our wedding day. Today, I get the privilege and honor to call you my husband. Ellen, August 8th, 2020 will be the day I remember forever as the day I got to marry my best friend, Corona or not. You showed me authenticity and compassion. You have pursued me every day since the day we met. Ellen, you're the girl I've dreamt about marrying my whole life. Someone that pushes me to be the best spiritually, physically, and everything in between. Someone that loves and encourages me. Someone that wants to explore life and share new adventures with me. Jonathan and Ellen have sacrificed for each other to make this happen. But today only marks the beginning. I want to challenge you to work to accomplish, to set goals for each other, to put each other first, to always sacrifice for one another as you grow old together. Up until today, you have fulfilled becoming my best friend and soulmate, and today we get to take it a step further and join a marriage and become one in front of God and our family and friends. I have dreamed of this day, but I have dreamed far more of getting to spend my life with you. I remember our first date night, the formal where all your friends kept staring at me. I remember our first Valentine's together, the picnic sunset, and I love you was first said. With you leading this marriage, I cannot wait to witness how God continues to shape you as you lead me and our family. There are too many memories to recall and these are some of my favorites with you. I have seen how you handle life with confidence and peace as you step in tune with the Holy Spirit. You walk with grace and humility, which are qualities of a godly husband. honored to be your soon-to-be wife. Jonathan, when those doors opened and you saw your bride come walking down the aisle, that is the greatest picture that God has for us, of His love for us, that we are His bride, that we are cherished and loved by Him, just like you cherish and love Ellen. So through Christ's example of his love for us, we can truly show love to one another. And I know that you have both placed your faith in Christ, and I know that Christ is a foundation for your life, and he's going to be a foundation for your marriage. Jonathan, I want to officially welcome you to our family. And when you asked for my daughter's hand in marriage, I was more than happy to give you my blessing. I have full confidence in you to love and to take care of my little girl. Ellen, as I look at you tonight, I just want to say you are truly beautiful in every way. I hope you both have a wonderful life filled with love and happiness. You will always be my little girl, and Mom and I love you very, very much. Jonathan, you may kiss your bride.
Ellen, I promise to hold you tight forever to protect you and to forgive you. I promise to be your best friend and lifelong partner. I promise to love you until death do us part. So here's to the grace adventure. I love you to the sun, moon, stars, and back. Oh my love, your almost wife, Ellen. I love you, Ellen Chong. Love, Jonathan. I would like to ask everyone to join me in congratulating the bride and groom and wishing them a long and happy life together as husband and wife.